Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, hello. Welcome back. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Hello, hello, can you hear me? Hello, hello, can you hear me? Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? I am fine, thank you. How was your weekend? You had a good weekend? Celebrity um, Valentine's Day. Oh, so cool. What did you do? Where did you go? Um, no sé cómo se dice. Yo fui a Sonsonate. I go. I went. I went. I went. With to... my family to uh, Sonsonate. Hey, so cool. Sonsonate is a beautiful place. Do you like Sonsonate? Mm, yes, I like Sonsonate. And what did you do in Sonsonate? What did you do? Mm. I <laughs> no sé cómo se <laughs> Estoy pensando, me cuesta formar las oraciones. That's okay. ¿Alguien más que quiera compartir lo que hizo el día de San Valentín? Something special maybe? Somebody? Nobody? Anybody? One body? No. Okay. Well, Valentine's Day is a very special day for everybody. Um, it's a day where you express your good feelings for your friends, your family, etc. Now, in the previous class, ¿quién me puede decir qué vimos en la clase anterior? What do you remember about the previous class? Who can tell me? What do you remember? from the previous class. ¿Qué se acuerda de la clase anterior? The hour and the different place, uh, the world. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That is correct. The hours and the different places. Can you give me an example, please? Um, uh, what time is it there? It's six. Oh, okay. In this moment, it's a. Uh, it's a uh, um, eight after five. five Very good. After eight. Five after eight. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, now um, I would like for us to go ahead and move forward. We looked at this activity last time, which was what time is it there? Referring to the time zones. It, we looked at 5.2, what time is it? Um, 
here, you are going to write sentences uh, referring to two different ways. Listen, please. In this class, you learn to ask and answer questions using time expressions. Let's get started by looking at some clocks which are expressing the time. Let's listen and repeat. It's one o'clock. It's one o five. It's five after one. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's one thirty. It's one forty. It's twenty to two. It's one forty-five. It's a quarter to two. Now, what we want to do is make our own examples by changing the time on those clocks. I'm going to change the time for each and express a different time. Let's do it. Instead of one o'clock, we will say two. Notice that the only thing that we will change is the number for now. It's two o'clock. For our uh, next example, it's 2.05. After that, it's 2.15. Then it's 2.30 or it's half past two. Next, it's 2.40 or it's 20 to three. Our last example, it's a quarter to three or it's 2.45. I would like for you to express the time now. I will give you the numbers and you should write the time. Now I would like to go over some time expressions. Let's listen and repeat. In the morning, a.m. Noon, p.m. In the afternoon, p.m. In the evening, p.m. At night, p.m. Midnight, a.m. Let's uh, practice these time expressions now. Let's listen and repeat. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. It's 7 a.m. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. It's noon. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's 4 p.m. It's 7 o'clock in the evening. It's 7 p.m. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. It's midnight. In this class, we've covered how to express the time in different ways. It's important that you learn all those different ways to express the time. What I would like for you to do now is to practice expressing the time in different ways. I'll write the expressions and you should work on expressing the time in a different way. For example, it's nine o'clock in the evening. Another way to express this is by saying it's 9 p.m. Now I would like for you to change these expressions in a different way. It's eight o'clock in the morning. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 3 in the afternoon. It's 3 a.m. It's 6 p.m. It's 4 p.m. Okay, now on this activity, you're going to write the same two different ways. For example, it's 8 o'clock in the morning. You're going to write it like this. It's, it's eight a.m. The next one. It's 12 o'clock at night. You're going to write, it's 12 It's 12 o'clock.
a.m. It's 12 o'clock a.m. All right. So you're going to write one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're going to give me seven sentences. Seven sentences. And I want you to write your sentences here in the discussion forum. You will have five minutes. Five minutes. Ready? Ready? Yes, ready. Five minutes. Ready? Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Ahorita estoy buscando lo de, en el video, las, las, como las oraciones que nos dejó que hicieran. Yo tengo unos ejemplos, este, de los que voy a poner y es, is, is five after one. Yo creo ah, que esa es en el video. Mm. Creo que sí, no me recuerdo. Entonces nos repartimos las oraciones o igual hacemos, las hacemos todas de un solo y después corroboramos. Todas de una vez. Ok. El otro eh, que voy a poner es it's oh, a quarter to three, que es un cuarto, un cuarto a las tres. Ok. Ahorita voy a hacer el mío, entonces.
Ahí, ahí este en el chat puse. Puse las ah, mías. Okay. Ah, ok. Okay, yo ya hice dos que es como el primer ejemplo que él nos dio que sería it's two o'clock in the afternoon ah aquí está Rafael igual la voy a poner en Lenda. el chat hi Rafael hi Hola. Glenda Hola, hi. Hi, teacher. What's going on, fellas? Hey, what's up, teacher? What's going on, young brother from another mother? Tenemos una pregunta, teacher. What's up? Una pregunta super seria. Talk to me now. Uh, las oraciones que íbamos a hacer eran las, las que solo dicen it y la, la hora, ¿verdad? That's right. The, that's correct. Ah, ok. Es que esa es la duda que tenemos con Edwin. Estábamos sudando el lado porque no sabíamos cuáles las dos eran. ¿eh? Y empezamos oh, las, las, las que son más compactas. That's ok. Pero, ok. Eh, otra, una consulta adicional. Eh, evening, ¿hasta qué hora se considera evening? Eh, evening es hasta como a las, digamos, evening puede ser de 6 a 12. Ah, ok. Y, eh, ok, cuando decimos at night, Podrían ser también, este, digamos, las 11 de la noche es at night o si, sería siempre entonces evening. Uh, you could say 11 at night. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Ok. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, I know that everybody is not finished. I know that already. However, if you did not finish, that's going to be your homework. If you are not finished, That is going to be your homework. Any questions? Any questions? No question, teacher. All right. No question. Let me have one volunteer. One volunteer. One volunteer, please. Me. All right. Etiel, let me hear your answers. Okay. It's 11 at night. Mm -hmm. It's 12 a.m. Mm -hmm. It's 4.45 a.m. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's 2.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yes, p.m. Mm -hmm. It's 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. It's midnight. It's 11 o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's 9 o'clock in the morning. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you. Now Thank you. we are going to go ahead and move forward. 
If you are not finished, it is your homework. Si no terminó, es su tarea. Now we're looking at 5.4, knowledge check. Instructions. Look at the clocks and select the two possible correct answers for the hours displayed on each watch. Instrucciones. Observe los relojes y seleccione las dos posibles respuestas correctas de las horas que se muestran en cada reloj. For example, number one. This, the little hand is two, the long hand is four, so it's 2.20. Example, what time is it? ¿Qué horas es? It's 20 after 2. Son 20 pasadas las dos. It's 2.20. Son las dos y 20. So you will identify the time. Va a identificar dos respuestas posibles de cada una. Cada una tiene dos respuestas. Usted las va a identificar. You will have five minutes. Pero primero, smile, everybody, smile. Cheese. Ay, parece que ando un zancudo bestia aquí. Wow. <laughs> that boy was going to kill me. Y una vez más. One more time. Smile. All right. Okay, ready? Let's go. Hola. 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 Vaya, el nombre tú, ¿cuánta is it? Eh, sería is ten to, to seven. seven. It's six sixty. Six, uh -huh. It's six sixty. Ajá. Uh -huh. Number three. Um, what time is it? It. Eight for five. It's a waiter tonight. Number sí. four. Te toca a ti. A mí. What time is it? Well. Oh, it's. Is eleven of five. Eleven uh -huh. of five. You know what? It's five after eleven. Y el otro is eleven of five. It's eleven of five, correct. Y la primera? La primera, la primera es. Esa también. Ah. La primera cuatro. Right after 11. X10 on to 7. Eh, X660. Number 3. One can you see it? It's A45. X a white. It's a quarter to 9. Uh -huh. Before. Four. What? It's five after eleven. It's eleven of five. Eleven of five. Uh huh. Uh, um, number five. Number five. Five. It's three fifteen. It's quarter after three. Uh huh. Okay. Number six. six. It's it's all 
past four. For thirty. It's, it's for, for thirty. For thirty. Mm -hmm. for 30. Mm -hmm. Esa sería. Hola. ¿Lo hizo? Es la 6 sería is for 30 y la otra cuál sería, perdón. It's half past four. Ok, gracias. Solo, solo me ayudan aquí en la. Quiero ver cuál es. En la 2. Sí, sí, es cierto, ¿no? La, la segunda y la, y, la, y la cuarta, ¿verdad? Correcto. Ok. Aquí son las once y cinco, sería la primera y la segunda, ¿verdad? Correcto. Okay. Voy a salir por eso porque a veces me, me aburro. <risa> sí, hombre. Acaba de venir el teacher, hola. <risa> Pero aquí está solo, no, no le veo la foto. No, pero ahí está. Ahorita va a hablar, creo. Hi, teacher. <risa> Hola. Ahí está, teacher. Hi, teacher. Ahí What's está. up? What's going on? <risa> How are you? Uh, so fine, teacher. Uh, I, just, I just finished the, the, the part of the uh, okay. horarios. Ah, okay. Uh, schedules, schedules. Schedule, schedule. Okay, teacher. I'm, fi I'm finished. Ah, okay, that's good. And did you finish the uh, the other activity, the one that we were doing? Ah, oh, no, teacher, no, teacher. La, la, la yo siguiente, vi. yo no, <laughs> yo no, honestamente. The Diana, ya terminó, Diana, Diana sí ya terminó toda la plataforma, ¿ya? No, voy para la 5.8. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y, y, tienes la, y tienes la plataforma abierta, uh, Daniel, o solo estás yes. en el teléfono? Estoy con el teléfono, pero aquí abro la plataforma también. Ah, ok. ¿Y por cuál sección vas en la plataforma? En la, vaya, yo ya terminé, quiero ver. Esta 5.4, sí, ya la terminé. La de los, uh -huh. los horarios. Uh -huh. De ahí quiero ver. Esta Rising and Falling Intonation tendría que iniciar. Mm, ok, ok. Ah, pues eh, uh -huh. pueden avanzar juntos. No necesariamente tienes que ir en la misma actividad. Pueden ir avanzando, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. si, si, si Diana ya terminó la actividad, usted le puede apoyar a él compartiéndose la pantalla para que él vaya avanzando también. Eso no uh -huh. tiene ningún problema. La está viendo ah, en el okay, teléfono, teacher. pero sí lo puedo ver. Date la oh. Ok, all right. No, pues, <risa> yo, yo aquí no he dicho estoy nada. interactuando. Claro. No he dicho nada. Igual. Ok, send, oh, send okay. teacher. Bye. Acaba de Bye, venir teacher. alguien más. Ah, Fernando acaba de llegar, ¿no? No sé qué es, Fernando José, quiero ver. Pero no me Fernando acuerdo. José Flores, Santa Cruz. Ah, pues no es otro Fernando, yo me puedo a otro. De plano, yo casi que no Hello, me puedo. Hello, José. Ah, oh, vine también. Wow, porque están viniendo todos. Guillermo, Ernesto Morán, también un montón hay aquí ya, ¿eh? Ok. Sí, sí, León. No, ah, 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 What time is it, Dora? It's 3.50, it's quarter after three. Hey, hey, welcome, welcome. All right, let's check. The first one, what time is it? Number two, what time it's is it? 20. It's 10 to 7. It's 10 to 7, 7. It's 10 to 7 or? It's 6 to 16. It's 6 15. It's 6 50. The next one. What time is it? Number three. Number three. It's 8 for 5. 44. It's 44. Perfect. Number four. What time is it? 
It's 11 or 5. Number 5, what time is it? It's 3.15. It's 3.15. It's 3.15. It's 3.15. Excellent. It's 3.15. It's a quarter after three. Number six, what time is it? It's half past, half past, half past, past four. four. It's four. four. It's four. It's four. It's four. It's four. Perfect. Four. Excellent. Any questions? No. Any questions? No questions. No questions. Um, teacher. Hi. La pronunciación de help. La pronunciación de? Eh, de helps, helps, no sé cómo. Half, 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 half. Se pronuncia la L. That's right, no se pronuncia la L. Half, okay. half. Now, we're okay. going to look at section, yes, section 5.5. By the end of this class, you will be able to understand rising and falling intonation in yes, no questions and WH questions. Al finalizar esta clase, ustedes serán capaces de comprender la intonación creciente y decreciente en las preguntas con respuesta corta, sí y no. Y preguntas interrogativas, WH. Finish rising and falling intonation. Listen, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn about rising and falling intonation in yes or no questions and WH questions. Let's get started by understanding intonation. Pitch is raising and lowering the tone of voice while speaking. The use of pitch is called intonation. Understanding English intonation will increase not only your spoken English competency, but your English comprehension as well. Intonation is used to convey meaning. For example, you have the same set of words in two separate sentences, but in one the meaning may be different than in the other due to intonation. In this class, we'll focus on yes or no questions and WH questions and how intonation gives meaning. Let's listen and practice. Notice the intonation of yes or no and WH questions. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Well, there are many exceptions and rules to follow. In general, we can follow these two simple rules. For yes and no questions, there will be a rising intonation. For example, is she getting up? Are they sleeping? For WH questions, there will be a falling intonation. For example, what's she doing? What are they doing? This topic, along with all the other pronunciation topics, require careful listening and to practice. I would like for you to listen carefully to your favorite English TV program and notice the rising and falling intonation of yes or no questions and not only your spoken English All right, everybody, listen and repeat. Is she getting up? Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Ok, eh, para, este TV, para este video eh, solamente era de, de escuchar el video y practicar la entonación. Right? Eh, puede escribir unos ejemplos allí, pero el ejercicio es de pronunciación. 
So, aquí no, no hay mucho que hacer. All right, now let's check. Instructions, listen and practice. Notice the intonation of the yes, no, and WH questions and select the correct intonation. Instrucciones. Escuche y practique, observe la intonación de las preguntas con respuesta corta sí y no. Y en las interrogativas y seleccione la entonación correcta. Va a darle clic acá. Va a escuchar acá. One. One. Are you wearing a coat? Are you wearing a coat? Two. Falling or rising? What are you doing now? Falling or rising? It's rising. Correct. Rising. 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 So aquí va a poner rising. All right. You're going to have five minutes to work with the classmate. Okay. Pero antes vamos a tomar li, la attendance. Okay. Give me one second. Bueno, vamos a hacer esto y de ahí vamos a tomar la attendance. Ready? Let's go. Y cuando ocupas is o are, que son como el verbo to be, entonces el sonido es como que alto. Bueno, eso fue lo que dijeron en el video. Ok, ahora se vinieron un montón. Ah, aquí está esto. Y es inglés corporativo. Oh, oh my God. Uh, uh. The boss, the boss. Ya escuchaste el audio. Hola, ¿Estás Héctor. Tú? ¿Qué lo dice? Héctor, ¿qué dice? Hola, ¿qué? ¿Qué Hola, onda, Diana? <risa> no, no. Ya estamos. Ready. Creí que estabas escribiendo. <risa> no, ya estamos ready, ready. Yes. Are you ready? Ok. <risa> eh... Digámoslas, es que ¿qué tal? Es que estoy esperando a Hércules. Lo que pasa es que me dice que no lo he escuchado, entonces lo estaba escuchando para después hacerlo juntos. Entonces, ya lo hice, pero ajá. también ya lo hice. Dale, dale. Entonces... Lo acabo de hacer. Escuchémoslo, Hércules. ¿Cómo que este te ponga? Ah, espera, yo a ver si se escucha. Máximo volumen. What are you doing now?
Ok, guys, eh, yo sé que no han terminado. Eh, sin embargo, tenemos que tomar la asistencia. So, cuando le diga su nombre, por favor, diga presente. ¿Listos? Ready. Ok. Yes. Eh, number one. Adriana Eunice. Present. Present. Today is the 15th. Mm -hmm. um, the next one is Alison Michelle. Allison, Michelle. Absent. Eh, Ana, Bernarda. Present. Andrea, Beatriz. Andrea, Beatriz. Berta, Alicia. Berta Alicia. Brian Armando. Chuy. Brian Armando. Brian Armando. Ok. Eh, yo creo que alguien tiene el micrófono encendido. Ok, guys. Vamos a mantener los micrófonos apagados, por favor. The next one is, solo le quita el mute para decir present. Carlos Rafael. Present teacher. Good. Cesar Villalta. Present teacher. Excellent. Daniel Edgardo. Present teacher. Good. Darold Francisco. Present teacher. Good. Diana Melissa. Present teacher. Excellent. Delmi Roxana. Delmi Roxana. Absent. Diana Guadalupe. Present teacher. Excellent. Dora Mary. Present. Nice. Edwin ATL. Present. Good. Oh, sorry. Dora Francisca. Dora Francisca. Absent. Edwin ATL. Present. Elisa Mercedes. Elisa Mercedes. Eneida Patricia. Eneita Patricia, Erika Eloisa, Erika Eloisa, Eugenia Asunción, Present Evelyn Esther, Present Teacher, Evelyn, Present. Evelyn Esther, Absent, Evelyn Esther is absent. Thank you, Erica. Fatima Carolina. Present teacher. All right. Fernando Jose. Present teacher. Eh, Francisco Antonio. Francisco Antonio. Um, Francisco Manajen. Present teacher. All right. Gerson Tobar. Glenda Annette. Guillermo Ernesto. Harold Eduardo. Present teacher. Hector Jose. Present teacher. Okay, got it. Excellent. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. Very good. Any questions? 
Is everybody finished or do you need more time? ¿Ya terminaron o necesitan más tiempo? Finish. Ya, ya terminamos. Termi ¿Ya todos terminaron? Finish. Ok. Finish. Let's check. Number two. What are you doing now? Falling. Right. falling. Right. Rising or falling? Falling. Falling. Okay. What time is it? Rising or falling? Falling. Morning. Falling. Is it midnight? Rising or falling? Rising. 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 What color is his t-shirt? Rising or falling? falling? Falling. Are you from Thailand? Rising or falling? Rising. 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 Perfect. Perfect. Excellent work, guys. Excellent work. Let's look at 5.8, lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will be able to ask and answer present continuous WH questions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation between a boy and his mother, which illustrates WH questions in context. Al final de esta clase, Ustedes serán capaces de consultar y responder preguntas interrogativas en presente continuo. Adicionalmente, ustedes practicarán una conversación entre un chico y su madre con la cual se ilustra el uso de las preguntas interrogativas en contexto. Present Continuous WH Questions. Listen, please. No, listen. Setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask. Additionally, we will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation between a boy and his mother, which illustrates WH questions in context. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Now, let's try to make sense of present continuous WH questions. We will typically use present continuous WH questions whenever we want to get information from an action that is in progress. For example, what are you doing right now? To form WH questions, we need to follow this formula. WH word plus verb to be plus subject plus the verb plus ing plus some kind of complement. If we look at the images on the screen, you can see a few WH questions. Let's analyze the first one. What's Victoria doing? We have a WH word, what. Then we have the verb to be, is. After that, we have the subject, Victoria. After that, we have the uh, verb in its ing form and then we have a question mark then of course you can see the question being answered she's sleeping now now we're going to listen to the rest of the questions and answers let's listen and repeat Los Angeles 4 a.m. what's Victoria doing she's sleeping right now Mexico City 6 a.m. What's Marcos doing? It's 6 a.m., so he's getting up. New York City, 7 a.m. What are Sue and Tom doing? They're having breakfast. Brasilia, 9 a.m. What's Celia doing? 
She's going to work. London, 12 noon. What are James and Anne doing? It's noon, so they're having lunch. Moscow, 3 p.m. What's Andre doing? He's working. Bangkok, 7 p.m. What's Permsak doing? He's eating dinner right now. Tokyo, 9 p.m. What's Hiroshi doing? He's watching television. Your city. What are you doing? It's... So I'm... The last thing that I would like for you to do is to look at the images again and write questions and answers about them. For example, what's Celia wearing? Celia's wearing a red suit. After you complete this assignment, please share your work in our discussion forums. Now, for this activity, I would like for us to practice the conversation. Let's get started by li listen, please. Listen and repeat. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. What Hi, are Mom. you doing, Steve? What are you doing? I'm cooking. I'm cooking. What are you cooking now? What are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. No, no, I'm very hungry. hungry. Let's eat. Let's eat. Let's eat. Okay, I want you to practice the conversation as many times as possible. Va a practicar la conversación las muchas veces que pueda. You will have five minutes. Ready? Let's go. Uh, Jared Hercules, let's go. Rafael Carlos, let's go. Ana, let's go. Erika Gonzalez, let's go. Carlos Rafael, let's go. Carlos Rafael, let's go. Carlos Rafael, let's go. Erika Gonzalez, let's go. Erika Gonzalez, let's go. ¿Qué la hago yo? Bueno, hagamos a las dos para practicar, ¿verdad? Ajá, tenemos otra compañera, García.
Empezamos. No sé que yo no la he encontrado. Pero ya la enviaron en el grupo. Ah, chévere. Ajá. Ahorita veo. Ok. Sí, yo no me fijé. Gracias. Ok. ¿Empiezas tú? Ya. Yeah. Ok. Vaya. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steven? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two, it's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Uh, mom, oh, man. Pizza now. <laughs> You're eating hungry legs. Hey. <laughs> really hungry. <laughs> Se emocionó con la pizza. Se emocionó con la pizza. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> ahora, <laughs> ahora, ahora yo soy Steve y tú eres mi mamá. Yo soy mamá. <laughs> Hi, mom. What are you doing? Still, I am cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I am really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mm, pizza. Now I am very hungry. Let's eat. <laughs> um, um. <laughs> <risa> Mire, la frase más difícil. No, que es que está um, en otra um. cosa. Mm. <risa> <risa> ok. Vaya, ahora empiezo yo. Okay. Hi, mom. What are you doing? Sí, sí. Okay. I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, <laughs> pizza. Now I am getting hungry. Let's eat. Okay. Ahora ustedes Steve. Okay. No, no. Sí, verdad. Sí, Así sí. Es. Ajá. Uh -huh. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I am cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I am really hungry. What are you making? Making pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm really hungry. Let's eat. Okay. Entonces, ahora... Otra vez. <risa> Otra vez. Otra vez. Ahora tú eres un Steve. Bye. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I am getting hungry. Let's eat. Okay. Ahora, usted. Ah, es... Yo soy Steve. Steve. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I am cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I am really hungry. What are you cooking? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I am getting hungry. Let's eat. Okay. Ah, ahora tú eres un Steve. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I am very hungry. Let's eat. Okay. 
Ahora... Creo que el profe nos dejó solo nosotros practicar. <risa> no, y sabe que yo creí que ella me había metido a la, a, a la, a la sala. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y yo esperando todavía, hasta que él ya me dice, Ana, y yo, así que ya voy yo. Uh, y me guía García, no, 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 no habla. ¿Está con nosotras? Sí, sí. Que yo me salí habemos, y me salgo. Habemos, para... hable, habemos cuatro. Ay, señor, y los demás. Dejemos que hablen los otros. Va, que hablen. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, time is up. Good job, everybody. Excellent work. At this moment, do you guys have any questions referring to this activity? No, teacher. All right, so please try to continue advancing on the platform, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Bye-bye. Okay. Good night. 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 Good night.